Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Micah from Mikasa Kitchen and Bar. And thank you very much for joining me on another episode of My Perfect Bike. Today, we are going to be introducing you to the wonderful world of curing. There are two types of curing methods. Number one is your dry cure. So that's essentially dry. There's absolutely no moisture at all. It's just salt and sugar. Now, if you want to have a brine, you're going to have to add a little bit of water. So as you can see, this is a thread fin. Very lean. This is a salmon, very fatty. So I sort of want to have a, a drier texture, something that is a little bit more firm when you bring the salmon into a dry cure. With regards to the thread fin, the, the batang, I want it to be a little bit more juicy. So that's why we have a little bit of water to in, sort of uh, introduce a bit more moisture into the flesh. Yeah, so let's get started. The dry cure in general is always salt and sugar. And the ratios I like to use is three parts of salt. And with the same type of spoon, we're gonna use two parts of sugar. Lemon. And we're just gonna simply peel it. This is gonna act as an aromatic. Oh man, that's a juicy lemon. Got my lemon zest. And don't throw this away, we're going to use it for the rest of the cooking for today. And you sort of just want to mix it up a bit, you know, uh, so it's a little bit even. Because at the end of this, we are going to sprinkle this all over the fish. And the fish looks like that. So that part is a lot thinner than this part. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut off the portion that is way too thin and that will definitely overcook. Right. So now you have something that's gonna cook a little bit more even. Your salmon might have a bit of pin bones over here. What you can do is make a small incision and then you can sort of use your fingers. Yeah, cool, see, no more bones. This salt and sugar is gonna be flavored with that lemon oil. And what we're gonna do now is put this to one side first. I'm going to sprinkle this. And for the belly, so skin set down on the on the rest of the plate. Right. Lemon zest. Why don't you just sort of massage it in? You make that incision. Just put it inside there. Yeah. Boom. There you go. So Brian, pretty much the same thing, but this time around I'm going to use a percentage. I'm going to be using a three percent salt solution with two percent of sugar. What that means is. For every liter you have of water, you have 30 grams of salt and 20 grams of sugar. Yeah, this time around I've got about uh, 500 mils of water because I don't need that much brine, right? So just essentially pour that in. And then 500 mils would mean 10 grams of sugar and 20, uh, 20 grams and 15 grams. 15 grams of salt and 10 grams of sugar to every 500 ml. Yeah, so, get it. One spoon. And this time around, I'm going to be marinating the thread fin with cloves and garlic. Give it a crush. Inside. So you can automatically smell that aroma. It's really, really nice. And that's going to infuse into your water, sugar, salt mixture, right? Over here, I've got thread fin. Again, it's not going to cook very evenly if you go plonk it into the pan like that. So what you're going to do is sort of cut it in half. I'm going to put that inside there. This one over here. This one goes right inside. So this and this is going to be cling wrapped and it's going to go into the fridge. The fish, the salmon, is going to go in for one hour. This one over here is going to go for about four to six hours. First, we're going to preheat the pan. Take this one. So, can you see how much moisture has leaked out? There's going to be moisture coming out, making your firm a little bit more firm. 
Making the flesh a bit more firm. Making the flesh a bit more firm. Why was that so difficult? You just sort of want to rinse off the excess sugar and salt. And then we're going to dry it off on a paper towel. And roll it over like that. Small to medium fire. We're going to start off with a bit of neutral oil. This time around I'm using vegetable canola. So make sure it's pat really really dry. And what we want to do is skin side down on the pan away from you. Because that way oil won't splash to you. I think we are good to go. So the filet batang, what we're going to do is again very gently rinse it in some cool water. Same treatment with the salmon. You want to dry it really really nicely. Let's take a look at the fish. I want the skin to protect the flesh of the salmon. That's why I'm doing majority of the cooking on the skin side down and then it's sort of going to heat up towards the tip of the salmon. You don't want to have an uneven um, uh, fish skin. So I've got something called an offset spatula and you sort of just want to gently press down so that it comes into contact with the oil. Now this is going to take patience. Right? But page time is one of those things where it's going to make everything better. I'm going to move it to the side now. And I'm going to put in my fillet of thread fin. The skin is extremely nice and dry. And then goes inside the oil. Yeah. Just gently use that. And this smells so good. I just had lunch. And now we wait. Ah, we can get a nice little garnish. Get a bit of lemon. Oh my god. The minute you start to see white protein leaking out from the sides, that's done. I'm gonna rest it skin side up. We're just gonna drizzle a bit of olive oil and some lemon juice. Good to go. Oh ho 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 ho! I'm gonna give this one a try first. Very juicy. I like that. That skin is incredibly crispy. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, gosh. Mm. All right. What I'm gonna do now is to reintroduce back a little bit of hot oil onto the skin, and hopefully that's gonna pop up a little bit more. So my camera decided to go out of battery, so I'm gonna be shooting this with my handphone right here. There we go. I'm going to be putting on a little bit of olive oil. This is extra virgin over here. And we want to have olive oil soak into that fish. I've got a bit of lemon right on top. Okay. And we're just going to let that rest for a couple of minutes before we consume. I'm going to give this a try. Look at that flake. Mm. It just so happens that there was a bit of a technical difficulty, so... It's night time! Fish was absolutely delicious. Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of My Perfect Bite. This is Micah from Mikasa Kitchen and Bar and I would sincerely love to thank everybody for joining me on these videos. You know, it's been incredibly fun. I hope to receive you guys in the restaurant soon. I've got an incredible menu to introduce to you guys. I think you're gonna love it, honestly. Anyway, it's time for me to go have dinner. Ciao. Hi everyone, it's Micah from Mikasa. What you want is... <laughs> <laughs> it's alright.